way to Milan and uh, I'm gonna stay there for at least a night, probably two. And after, I don't know what I will do yet. Um, I just got this idea stuck in my head that I really want to go back to Florence. Uh, I've been there once with my family as I think a 12 year old, spoiled little kid, didn't want to see anything. And um, after I uh, read the Da Vinci Code books, saw the, saw the movie, and I was like, yeah, I just have to go back to Florence. Just have to go back. So, I don't know, I don't know. There are a lot of uh, pretty cities near Milan as well, so let's just first focus on getting to Milan and finding a place to sleep. Didn't book a hotel yet, so I'm just gonna do that there or in my next stop on a parking lot, I'll just book a hotel. It's just a big adventure for me. I packed like a week, a week worth of clothes. It comes with you for free, so you might as well take it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing. And of course, croissant break. I took my own this time, so I didn't have to wait. degrees 35 degrees it's 25 in Nice it's 35 here and no uh, sweet ocean breeze so it's hot but I think I'm just gonna go through the city get some dinner I'm gonna spend two two nights here three days and after I'll, I'll see what I'll do I, I don't know yet I have no idea so I'll see it's six see some cool stuff if possible if it's still open or whatever and then grab some dinner because I'm hungry and I really need some, some pasta or something. It's getting me hungry. This is the Duomo in the center of Milan, like right in the center of Milan, here yeah, in the square and you basically have to stand in line twice. Once for tickets and then once for the church itself you can see some people waiting there. Uh, yeah, that goes a little far for me. So I'm just gonna go to my next stop, which is a very expensive shopping mall. And afterwards I'll go to a park where there's a fortress and a couple of museums and I'm just gonna see that how that works. <laughs> I just hope it's not a not a sign for his gang members. <laughs> like you could rob this guy. also was uh, going to the Arc de la Paz basically the Arc de Triomphe but then in Italy and then about peace instead of winning just a small lunch now I couldn't I couldn't get some croissants for croissant break so what I did get is focaccia I thought it would, would be bigger but I'll see we'll be fine <laughs>
Sharks are having a uh, concert there at the Monza Autodrome, the racetrack, which I didn't really wanted to go to, but um, it was really full. Police shut everything down. I uh, couldn't, couldn't go to the racetrack. I couldn't even park to go to the Royal Mansion, which is uh, like right next to it. That's a museum, and I really wanted to visit that museum. Um, so I, I got the hist. <laughs> And I decided I would just go home and uh, make some stops along the way. And then I saw a little city called Pavia, which is supposed to have Roman uh, ruins or something. I haven't found anything yet. First of all, I've been driving around for 30 minutes. I was like, fuck it, I'll park, I'll just walk there. So now I've been walking for about 20 minutes. I'm actually in the city center right now. I crashed sort of crashed a church ceremony like a, a service that's not nice so I got some food and I wanted a croissant break because you know but this is Italy so the best I could do was this huge slice of pizza there were no croissants nothing I'll just, uh, I'll just eat some pizza then oh did I tell you guys that I'm really fucking stupid I parked the car somewhere in not outside but not in the city and I, I told you I'm, I've been walking for 20 minutes or something and I didn't park where I put the car that's not that's not a good thing to do it's just stupid <laughs> church service and cherry on top I probably know the way back to the car from here so I'd say this visit was a success got some lunch got some chill time now back on the road again and uh, maybe I'll just drive home instantly but I don't know so the guy at the car for shop locked my bag so I couldn't steal anything which was good because I was obviously planning on stealing a lot but I can't get it loose so with my safety hammer I think I'm just gonna cut it does that work you think does it work it worked god damn it it's way too hot in this car no nah, this is not this is not gonna get better I just think I'm, I'm just gonna drive because this isn't getting better <sighs> it's like 33 degrees and then in the car it's even hotter because you know the sun warms it up uh, it's gonna be pain to drive in this heat but uh i'll manage <laughs>